Hi, I'm I'm Elisa. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing skincare, and I have this little. It's a little scrubby, but it's so so soft. I got it um for Christmas for my girls and my granddaughter, and I put it in their stocking, and it came with a set of two in each one, so I got two, and so that meant I had four. So left me one. So yay. Uh, but I haven't ever used it before, so I'm going to use it to scrub my face and see if it makes it any better today. So, and sorry about this shirt. This is my everyday shirt. I throw on for everything. <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to put, and I'm using um, CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. And I have it on the little scrubby let's see how it works I don't have any you I think I have a little bit of foundation on from earlier today because I had a repair man come and they want to scare him too bad to put some foundation and lipstick on but it feels pretty good on the skin it's not um I'll cut the water off oh it's taking it off pretty good and I'm going to scrub it a little bit, not too hard, very, very, ever so lightly because you know, washing your face itself is an exfoliant of some sort. So, and this is what I would do for a nighttime routine, but it's late in the afternoon. I think it's probably about 5 or 5.30. I'm not sure exactly what time it is. And... As you can see, it did get dirty. And I did clean it. I have splotchy skin. I have rosacea. And I have splotchy skin. Some of it's red. And then I have, down here I call it my orange peel skin. Looks like orange peel. I'm sure none of y'all have orange peel skin like I do, but my skin was so, so dry until I started taking care of it better. All right, hold on. I'm going to rinse this off. All right, and after cleansing my face, I used this pure rosehip seed oil, pure rosehip seed oil, and I know it's backwards, guys, but um, this has changed my life. It really has changed my face because I was having such problems with dry skin. My skin was so dry, so dry. I mean, between the alligator skin and the orange peel, it was pretty rough, guys. <laughs> and I have just a little bit. This is almost empty. So I have just a little bit left in it. I'm going to use it. I have a new one. I'll show you the box. That way you'll be able to get it if you're interested. But it really makes a difference on your skin. And I put it on, you know, after I cleanse my face. And I will tell you a little bit about it um, in a few minutes. But for right now, it's just what I use. And anything I use on my facial, I use on the back of my hands. And also on my neck and my decollete right here. For those of you young, <laughs> might not know what a decollete is. It's right here at the upper part of your chest. But, and it is magic. Now, the first time I used it, I thought, oh, I don't see a difference because my face was in such bad condition. But then after I started using it, it is amazing. It really does, it does help my skin tremendously. All right, and let's see. Also, about last May, I started using tretinoin, and it's by prescription, and it is a form of retin, um, vitamin A, you know, the, um, what is it, the retinol, that's um, so popular, except for the tretinoin, is more of 
the um, direct thing that is in the retinol. And I just use just a couple little squirts. And I put it on my face. Now, when you, if you start using it, you have to go to a doctor. I went to a dermatologist. So if you use the tretinoin, tretinoin, I don't say it right, but I'll write it in the description box <laughs> what it is so that you'll be able to check it out for yourself if you're interested. And it really has helped my skin. Um, it's good for preventing things in the future. Um, and of course, as I said, everything I put on my face, I put on my hands because I have really, really dry hands. Sometimes they were so bad that it looked like little cuts across my knuckles. So, and they have improved tremendously, but we'll talk about hands later. But for your face, and so I use this prescription. Now, sometimes it comes in a big tube and it'll say, I'm tretinoin on it or whatever, but this one just happens to come in a container for my, this comes from a pharmacist that they mix it up themselves. All right, hang on. And the last thing I do in my nighttime routine is put moisturizer on. And I use this CeraVe moisturizing cream. That's what the dermatologist had recommended to me. And this is my new one, so hang on guys, let me put it down. <laughs> so I can pump it out. Because I have an empty one here. Oh, well, it came on a little bit long, a lot more than I wanted it to, but that's okay. All right. And this is really, really a good moisturizer. Sometimes um, I will use the um, rose hip oil and mix it with this and put a little bit on my face. It just depends. Now with the tretinoin, be sure you go to the um, dermatologist. You won't be able to get it anywhere unless it's a prescription, unless it's the retinol that you get in the stores and stuff. But if you get the actual tretinoin, you have to get it for a prescription. You go to the dermatologist and they will tell you all about your skin and stuff, which is really nice that you can learn about your skin. So, and anytime I wash my face or anything, just like my face is red now, if I rub my face, it'll turn red. I have real sensitive skin. But I do have sensitive skin. I did not have any problem with the tretinoin. A lot of people have a problem. They can't tolerate it. It's too strong, whatever. And I think mine is, let me look before I tell the story. It is tretinoin. And it is 0.04% with vitamin E cream. So it has vitamin E cream in it. So, and that's what I do. Now I'm getting ready to hop in the shower here. So y'all ignore my hair. I'm having a crazy, crazy hair day. So, all right. Hang on, I'll be back. All right, I just hopped out of the shower. I had to dry my bangs. Because if you have curly hair, you understand. If I don't dry them right away, then they want to curl up. But today, I was using the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. And I used the Pure Rosehip Seed Oil. And where's my box? Here's the box that it came in. This is my new one. So give it a try but be sure anything that you use be sure to research it first and see if it's right for you so everything is not for everybody and i use today the tretinoin i'm not going to show you because it's um just a prescription but you can get it by prescription or if you don't want to go to the dermatologist and get it or whatever you can use the retinol products that they sell and they sell them even in the drugstore walmart places like that so in Neutrogena, all the brand names I think have them. And CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. It is, um, 
I can't read that, but anyway, it's for normal to dry skin and it works really, really good. I have dry skin. Uh, when I first started using these products, I had super, super, super dry skin. It was scaly and my orange peel is getting better. <laughs> it's not where it needs to be, but, um, you know, maybe you want to try some of these or maybe it'll inspire you to start, you know, I think if I would have known, I would have done skincare um, earlier on because I didn't realize how, you know, important it was because my mother never had any skin problems that I know of. <laughs> and the little thing I got at Walmart to scrub your face and it's so, so soft, worked fine. It did really good getting off my foundation because that's all I had on and it washed right out that was amazing so but that's just a couple things that i did put on some foundation and some lipstick that's what i usually wear sitting around the house while i'm waiting for my hair to dry because i don't dry my hair um with a hair dryer i'll let it dry naturally and then sometimes i may take the hair dryer and dry it just a hair that way it'll give me a little bit more volume all right that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.